Hi, it's Lael with Simple Stories and I'm here at scrapbook.com. So we're gonna talk about December days and documenting your December. We've worked with scrapbook.com to put a fabulous bundle together. Um, and I wanna show you guys the bundle and then show you the other products that you can kind of use to add to that base bundle and then what we'll kind of do with, um, with all the products when we're done. So the whole concept of a December days project is really taking the time during the month of December to talk about um, what you're doing, what's happening in your life, the different activities you're doing. But it, we could take it a little bit further. It might even be um, different memories that you have, um, favorite recipes, um, movies that you want to watch. Um, some of us are addicted to Hallmark movies around the holidays. So you may be talking about the Hallmark movies or maybe you have another favorite movie, um, Christmas books, Christmas carols, really just taking the time to document kind of the current what's happening and then maybe some of your memories as well. So with the December days bundle the base of the bundle is the merry and bright snap album and you guys what we work really hard on our albums for the holidays because we know that you are adding a lot um, generally this is a project that's lasting for a month so um, there are two inch rings which means that you have lots of room um, for all of your pages and photos that you're going to add so the base is this gorgeous merry and bright album i love that kind of whitewashed wood with the flowers you could really take the cover any direction that you wanted for the holidays or you could even leave it as it is because it's just beautiful as it is. Obviously you have um, the nice metal corners that helps to kind of reinforce it as well as the metal book plate. But when we open the inside, you guys, the album comes with already so many goodies just loaded as part of it. So you have a number of different pre-decorated pages. So like holiday favorites, um, cute little die cut pages, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I love this page. We've kind of talked about different ideas with this one. This could be a bucket list. So maybe you put it at the beginning of your album in December and you're kind of writing all the things that you want to do for December. Um, you could also use this at the end of the month, kind of as a recap, the different things that you did or different memories that you had throughout uh, the month cute little die cut snowman. You just kind of get a really good feel for the Merry and Bright collection as we flip through um, the pieces that are included in the album. This one, I always love that we include pockets because this is great for adding additional photos. It's also great um, for adding maybe Christmas cards, different memorabilia. Maybe you go see the Nutcracker and you want to save the tickets. Maybe you want to put recipes in here, but so many different options with the pocket. And then we move into the pocket pages. So you have an assortment of pocket pages. You have four each of three different designs. So you have a six by eight, um, which incidentally, that's the most popular pocket page that we do, that big six by eight. We know you love those. Um, we have the two four by sixes and then the combination of the three by four and four by six. So that is the album that is the base of the bundle. Then we're gonna move into the um, number pocket pieces. So in this package, you have numbers ranging from one through 25. So if you're kind of doing a document each day, um, you'll have each of the numbers that you need there to identify each day and then kind of the memories that you are, um, that you are, are creating that day. Moving from the pocket pieces, you also have the die cuts or our bits and pieces. And you have 45 different die cuts in this package. And they're just a great assortment of different icons, different um, sentiments and sayings. So you'll see kind of a little feel for the different icons there. This little Santa is kind of the, the star of the collection, the Merry and Bright collection. And he's so fun and cute. You'll see him make several different appearances throughout the collection. So those are the die cuts with the bits and pieces. And then wrapping out what's included in the bundle, you have these snap cards. And the snap cards in that one package, you get so much goodness there. You have an assortment of three by four cards, four by sixes, four by fours, and little two by two. So you have 48 cards. And these are great for really supplementing the pocket pages that you have in the album. So that's the bundle. But if you guys are like me, um, I can never stop there. And I start incorporating a lot of the other products from the collection. So a couple of different things that you could add. And you'll see kind of the things I added and how I use them in one of the next videos. But um, one of my favorite things when I'm doing these types of albums are the six by eight pads. So in the six by eight pads, you have 24 papers, 
two each of 12 different designs, but then they're also double-sided, which means you have so many different patterns to play with. And because these are six by eight, they fit perfectly right in the albums. Basically, I can just um, pull out one of these pages and really punch holes and it could be a page in my album. So super versatile there. Also, if you're making cards, um, great for that, um, for those kind of things as well. Um, from there, stickers, 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 stickers. We can never get enough stickers, right? So we have the puffy stickers, puffy stickers. I love that they're just kind of squishy and they kind of give a little bit of extra dimension. Uh, so we've got puffy stickers that I'm incorporating as well as our four by six stickers. So in that four by six package, you get eight sheets. So, so many different sheets of um, wonderful stickers. And usually what I do with these is I will get my project ready ahead of time before December starts. And then I will use maybe the stickers and some of the extra embellishments to kind of add um, as I'm decorating or documenting each day. All right, I can't forget the washi because the washi, um, always a favorite. And um, with this collection, we have included three rolls of washi in one package. So you get a combination of a really beautiful floral, kind of that floral that you see um, repeated throughout the collection, a really good classic, nice kind of green plaid, and then a red kind of holly berry. Actually, I think that's mistletoe maybe. Someone will correct me. It's maybe holly berry or mistletoe. We'll say it's both. Um, either way, I could stick it above my head and get a kiss, right? All right. Um, then the last thing I want to show you guys, um, the chipboard. So the chipboard is always great um, for just embellishing. And again, it's like going to be kind of like the puppy stickers, but on a larger scale, it's going to give you um, a lot more dimension uh, in your pocket pages. And we'll kind of show you how to um, use some of those chipboard pieces to add a little bit of dimension and to decorate um, as we are working with the project. So I want to show you, we'll kind of quickly flip through um, my album that I have put together. Now, um, typically what I do, as I mentioned, I will do some decorating, but then I will also leave it pretty plain because that gives me the opportunity as each day in December rolls around to really um, kind of embellish and document um, as I see fit based on those days because some days may need a little bit more, some days may need a little bit less. Um, but you can see on the cover, I've just done a little bit of decorating and um, we'll actually um, work on that together in the next video segment. But as we move to the inside of the album, you can see a good assortment of the six by eight pages, a little chipboard there. And as I start using the numbers, um, I like to get a little bit crazy. Well. I guess as crazy as you can get in scrapbooking, right? I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to the numbers. So sometimes I'll tuck them inside the pocket pages, but other times they're going on top. So that's what I've done there. I've incorporated some different size pocket pages. So those are a couple of other things that we'll talk about that you can add to um, the bundle as you're kind of working on things. But you just get a feel for how fun this project can be throughout the month. All even, um, in this case, I used a little um, stapler, a little tiny attacher from Tim Holtz to staple that four to the side of my tag. So everything for me is not the same size. I don't want it to be the same size. I want to show some different dimension and different sizes just so it kind of maintains some of the fun. We'll even talk about adding um, different ways to add multiple photos. So I like to call it super neutral. And what I mean by that is um, basically you have your traditional holiday colors. So um, you could be using color photos, you could be using black and white photos, um, you can be showing um, maybe Christmas outfits if your family dresses in you know red and green for Christmas or you have an ugly sweater contest or something like that generally goes with the overall um, colors and decor of the products. We've got all 25 days, if you will, decorated and ready to go. So once December 1 hits, um, the idea is to just sit down. The pages are already, um, we've done a lot of our work ahead of time. So pages I've pre-decorated and I sit down on December 1, maybe add a photo, tell a story or two, and then I am ready to move on to the next day, December 2nd, and I do the exact same thing again. So. Um, that will give you a feel for the December Days Bundle. And join me uh, for the next video as we talk about decorating the cover. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting.